it is time to prep the duck. I figured I'd share that with you. Remember, this is my first attempt. I've never done this before. My sink is cleaned out very well. I am going to open this. I did research, so I'm doing it the best I can, so I'm going to remove it from the packaging. Let me get this in the garbage right away. I need to remove the giblets that are inside. Make sure I get everything. Okay. All right, I'm just going to put them on a paper plate for now. Set them aside. Now I'm going to rinse it very well with cold water. Wash it off really good. Inside and out. Okay. Water's cold. All right. I'm going to let that sit there for a little bit and I'll be back. Okay, there's a lot of fat here. I'm going to trim some off. Take a nice chunk off of there. All right. It dripped for a little bit. I have this old cloth here. I'm going to pat it dry really, really good. You have to get it very dry. Go around the legs and the wings. Make sure you get it the best you can. Remember, guys, this could be a fail. I'm sorry you can't see me. I'm just trying to get you to be able to see what I'm doing. So we are drying it the best you can. Okay. Let me see what it looks like. Let me get this side better. Okay. 
So now what I need to do, it's dried off. Just gonna touch it up a little more. I have some sea salt here. I'm gonna salt it really, really good. Actually, I'm gonna use the other side. Okay, and that's supposed to sit in the refrigerator for a couple hours. When it's ready, I will come back and we will continue the process. Okay, my friends, I took the duck out of the refrigerator and set it out for about an hour just to get to warm up a little bit. So now what I'm going to do, is salt the inside. The best I can, salt and pepper. I'm going to have to get my hands in there. They're clean. Okay. I have my pepper here. I'm just going to shake some in there. Okay, I'm rubbing it all through. My oven just preheated to 350. I have a whole orange here. I don't know if I'll be using it all. And I have a whole bulb of garlic that I just left in the little pieces. So I'm gonna add some of the garlic an orange inside just mix it up put whatever I can fit in there some more garlic just rotate it a little bit more orange Get all that garlic in there for the flavor. Okay, I might be able to get one more piece of orange in there. Okay. I'm going to wash my hands. top was already seasoned with some salt earlier that I showed you. What I'm going to do is use the tip of my knife, lift up the skin, and pierce the skin nicely without touching the meat. Just going to do it all over the place. Around the legs. When I did research, it says 
Be careful not to pierce the meat or it'll become very dry. So I'm just piercing it the best I can everywhere. Okay. Let me get this leg better. That's important. Okay, so it's all pierced. That hopefully that's good enough. I'm gonna add some granulated garlic. Season it really, really good. Some onion powder. I'm going to add some paprika. This gives it a nice color. And I'm going to end up getting my hands dirty again. I'm going to rub that all in. There's no need to add any oil because there's so much fat and grease from this that you don't need to. Okay, I'm gonna add a little more paprika. Whoop. And I'm gonna add some parsley. Rub that in. All right, I'll turn you around and show you closer what it looks like. This is what it looks like now. It's all seasoned up very well. So I'm gonna get that in the oven. I'm gonna set the timer for, I would say about an hour first, and then we'll check on it. It's been an hour, exactly. This is what it looks like. Doesn't look too bad so far, guys. I'm going to turn you around. I think I'm going to baste it a little bit. There's a lot of juices. Let me get my tongs. There's a lot of juices in there from the orange and the garlic. So let me turn you around and we'll start basting this a bit. I'm going to start by taking some of the flavor out of the center where the orange is and add it to the pan for the flavor. Okay. There's quite a lot of liquid in there from the oranges and the fat. I am going to try to tilt this a little bit 
to get some of that and just baste it nicely. All the way around. Whoops. I lost it, guys. There we go. All right, let's get the wings. And the legs real good. Now I'm going to attempt, I don't know how this is going to work. something I want to flip this there we go it actually worked I'm going to season that again this side a little bit with the garlic, salt, pepper. Onion powder. Paprika. There we go. And I'll throw a little parsley on there too. Why not, right? Make it look pretty. So I'm going to pop it back in and set the timer for another hour and we'll see what it looks like. Now, while the duck is still in the oven roasting, I have some Brussels sprouts here, fresh Brussels sprouts. I'm going to cut the ends off. They're already washed. And cut them in half. So they're just in half like that, okay? I'm just gonna set them aside for now. I'll do one more and then I'll do it off camera and show you when I'm done. All right, I'll be back. Okay, they're all cut up. Okay, I'm setting them aside. I have some mini potatoes here. I'm gonna cut them in half also, skin on. Just going to add them to a pot. Once again, everything's been washed. This smells so good in here, guys. That duck really smells good. But I don't know how it's going to turn out. Beware, guys. <laughs> you guys know me. 
I'm always doing something crazy. So let me finish cutting them up and I'll be back. All right, the potatoes are all cut up. I put some water in a pot with the potatoes. I'm going to add some salt. And I'm just going to cook them until just tender. Okay, my friends. It has been a half hour from the, the one hour that I set the timer for. I pulled it out. That is the bottom part of the duck. So I let that cook for a half hour. It's got some nice color. So now I'm going to flip it back around, breast side up. Okay, I flipped it around. That wasn't fun. <laughs> I'm glad I did it off camera. So I'm going to baste. Why does that keep coming off? <sighs> it's one of those days, guys. I'm exhausted on top of it. All right, let's try and baste. This one more time. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Looks good. So I'm going to put that back in. I'll see how it is after another half hour. And I'll be back. All right. I cooked the potatoes until fork tender. Slightly fork tender. I'm going to add them to this pot. And I'm going to salt them up really good. I have the Brussels sprouts that I cut up. These aren't cooked. I'm going to roast them just the way they are. They should roast quickly. So I'm adding them right in with the potatoes. Just going to toss them around a bit. See what I got? took some of the duck fat out of the pan. I'm just going to drizzle some over the potatoes and the Brussels sprouts. Give them another toss. Okay. little more salt and sorry guys I have a mess here what I'm gonna do I'm gonna move this over so here they are. 
I'm going to transfer them to a bake, baking sheet. The oven is still at 350. Okay. I'm going to get them in the oven. All right. In the meantime, I am going to cover this duck for a bit. And... So it doesn't brown too much. That's an old timer. Um, all right. I'm just going to lightly cover it. And I'm going to get that back in the oven. And once the vegetables are done, I will come back. Okay, I took the vegetables out. I'm just gonna mix them around a bit. Okay. Spread them out nicely. They're not quite done. Let's see. Almost. I'm going to take my baster and just baste them a little bit to make sure they all have some of the duck fat on them. Some of them didn't look like they had much on them. All right. That is going back in the oven. Let them cook till they get nice and perfect. All right, now I have the duck is out. I'm going to keep it out now. I'm going to try and transfer it to this cutting board to let it sit for a while. There we go. So I'm going to put the foil on top. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. <clears throat> While the vegetables finish roasting, I am going to make an orange sauce. So I'm going to turn on the heat. I have some orange marmalade. I'm not going to use the whole jar. I'm just going to save a little bit. And I'm going to add a half a cup of orange juice. Let me 
get that open. Okay. I'm going to whisk that together. That is what we got. I'll show you once it's finished. heat that through. Okay. And that's pretty much all I need for this. You just heat it to boiling. So once that's heated up, I will come back. Okay, the orange sauce is heated through. I'm going to remove the foil. And I'm just going to glaze this a little bit with this orange sauce for some flavor. Okay. Looks delicious. I hope it tastes good and it's not all dried out. Once the veggies are done, I will come back and we will serve it up. Okay, my friends. It is all plated up. I have the duck. I have my roasted Brussels sprouts and potatoes. I added some orange slices that'll go pairs very well with duck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drizzle some of the orange sauce over the duck. Okay. Now we're going to give it a try. I'm going to cut a piece. Here goes nothing, guys. I'm scared. It feels tender. We will see. So we got that nice orange sauce on there. Look at that, guys. Here we go. Don't mind the way I look. I've been sweating all day. I'm exhausted. That was a very difficult, a very difficult meal to make. So let's see the results. Mmm. Mm -mm. Wow. Guys, I am so proud of myself. 
Oh, it's so tender. That orange flavor on the duck, it pairs perfectly with that duck. It is absolutely, it is so tender, guys. Look at that. It was a long day making it, but you know what? It is worth it. I have not had duck in years. And I never dreamed I could make it taste as good as what I've had. And it is just as good, if not better. One more bite. Mm. Wow. I am so happy. I am very, very proud of myself. I done good, guys. Here's the a roasted potato and Brussels sprout. We're going to give that a try. Mm. Guys, don't mind my shirt. It's from cooking. I didn't have an apron, so I'm a mess. But you know what? I got through it. I cooked the old meal all by myself. And I am proud. So here we go. That is my duck dinner that I cooked for myself. Once again, we got the duck with the orange sauce, some orange slices, some roasted potatoes, and Brussels sprouts. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so very much for watching. And Merry Christmas, guys. I love you all.